As soon as you start to beat on somebody, a lot of times they'll look for a way out, you know, and they want to do it the respectable way. They don't want to just tap from getting hit or whatever, but if you can feel somebody break, and, and then all you have to do is give them a way out and they'll take it. Josh Saman, uh, I'm 23 years old. I'm a mixed martial arts fighter out of Tallahassee, Florida. I'm 6'3", I fight 185 pounds. My mom, the whole time when I was a kid, wouldn't let me watch violent shows or movies and was so against fighting and no tackle football and all this shit. So, you know, maybe, it, maybe that's, a, you know, maybe I'm a product of that and that's why I'm just a, rebelling against my mom at some deep down level, you know, but she loves it now. Um, she loves it now. It, funny, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 10 and 3 now, 10 wins and 3 losses, and I've never lost a fight with my mom there, and every fight my mom missed, I lost, so. I was always gifted in school, in elementary and middle school and stuff, and then I started to slack off and get into extracurricular activities in high school, and um, ended up dropping out and getting my GED when I was 16, and um, you know, I always kind of excelled athletically and I didn't do anything with my, with my body in high school, so I, you know, I took up fighting just to get in shape and, and try to push myself and learn some new things. And I mean, I never really thought it would take me to where I am now, but I'm glad I started. You know, I hate to use cliches, but it's, you know, it's, it's the best high ever, you know. It's, 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 a, it's a great feeling, man. It's just something instinctual about it, you know, all the way back to, um, all the way back to your roots, man. I think, you know, the way I see fighting is, it's, you know, kind of the, the original um, test of, of, you know, who's really superior, you know, and so it, it you know, it feels good, man. It's, you know, it's, there's no feeling like it. The way I describe it when you're in a fight is the only thing that really hurt are uh, body shots and leg kicks. The, 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 the face shots don't hurt, they're just loud. They're just really loud. If you just imagine you got a big stick in your hand, you slam it on the ground and you feel the vibration. That's kind of what like getting hit in the face is like. So it doesn't really bother me, it's just loud. Um, lots of guys I fight are wrestlers and you know they like to push you up against the cage and use it for takedowns and stuff. And I don't mind being on the ground. Um, but the, the excitement is, is in the knockouts, and that's, you know, I, I like to deliver, so. My, my philosophy is that I'll just end the fight wherever they take it, you know. I'm not one of those guys who's really concerned about getting it in the ground or keeping it on the feet because I'm pretty well-rounded in jiu-jitsu and striking, but uh, I, I like to finish by knockout, so that's, that's what I try to emphasize, whether it's standing or on the ground. I don't think people really realize how much hard work we put into it, you know. I think. A lot of people, when they say, oh, he's a fighter, they think that, oh, he just likes to fight and he gets in a cage every once in a while. They don't realize that a lot of us dedicate our lives to it. And um, like I said, every, every moment, every spare moment I have, you know, is dedicated to fighting, whether it be, you know, learning about technique or just, you know, conquering the, the fitness aspect of it, staying in the best shape I can, you know. Um, and yeah, like I said, most people don't even believe when I tell them that I work out three or four times a day. They don't think it's possible, you know. So um, the people that are close to me and have been through my training camps and seen the struggles that and you know the tribulations that go along with it, um, it's definitely an eye-opening experience for a lot of people who wouldn't otherwise know about the sport. So um, yeah, stuff like this is exactly what people need. You know, they need they need they need. Um, to see, you know, all the all the hard work that we put into it, man, because we put a lot. We we you know pour our hearts into this shit. So yeah, it's just I want people to appreciate, you know, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people just they go and they want to see the violence and uh, everybody likes the violence. I like the violence, you know, but um we work hard and I just you know I, I I just you know wish people understood that a little bit more.